Let's get right down to the nitty gritty. First and foremost, shout out to my goddaughter, Brittany Royster. Shout out to my homeboy, David Royster, man. They're downstairs in the lobby. We just came from a very successful meeting meeting with the, excuse me, the head dean of Howard University, along with other uh, executives and administrators. Uh, there's more to come that his family will share on that matter. But uh, very successful meeting today. Even at the time to chop it up with the dean about some of that, I think y'all calling them gentrifying George now, about the whole uh, uh, a dog issue on the main yard. That's not why we came to meet with them. Uh, it's for some other issues. But again, I'll let his family deal with that. Listen, yesterday... Uh, I talked to Rosie Jackson. I just want to publicly put an apology out uh, because of the height of the way her hand was raised. And also, to be quite honest, because of the delay, um, those of us that walked out right after the vote, we saw five to two. But the vote was uh, four to three, four nays, three yays. So as I told you privately, Rosie, uh, I'm sorry, the delay along with the height caused us not to see your vote, but glad to know that uh, you voted in the same spirit, which I uh, support you in. So with that said, also another thing, uh, the minutes from the previous meeting, not yesterday, reflected that the account was at 80,000. I made a comment saying that the meetings are correct. Uh, it is not 80,000, which is a blessing, which honestly, you know, it's kind of strange to even hear that. But uh, 16 million with several full-time positions and part-time positions and other expenditures to come out of that 16 million. I'm not here to discuss the budget with you. I'm here to talk about yesterday's vote in its totality. Listen, after yesterday's vote, I'm telling you right now, I'm calling for Mayor Edwards to be removed. Not for him not to fit, not for him to not finish his term, but supporting a very strong mayoral candidate coming up. Listen, I've been dealing with you way too long, Mr. Edwards. I'm not the kind of man that you can have a closed door meeting with, even discuss some things about Old National, and then come out with this foolishness based upon personal vendettas and personal con personality conflicts and things of that nature. See, I know what time it is. See, I know the fact that this DDA would have put seven members in place that would have been acting independently from mayor and council, and therefore you would not have had a hand into what goes on on Old National Highway. See, I also know, as everyone does, about the personal beef between you and Councilman Khalid Kamal. I could care less about that. The decorum that takes place at some of these city council meetings, by you personally, sir, the demeanor, it starts from the top down. A mayor is supposed to be poker face. Council is supposed to be poker face while I'm at it. While certain individuals are talking, the turning around the various council members, the frowns, the just a lack of professionalism. And also a lack of foresight. We appreciate you for your service, sir. It has been a long tenure, but it is up. We as the city of South Fulton will not propel forward, upward. With an old thought process that's unwilling. I got two homes, District 7 and District 3. I'm also calling for the, for the removal of District 3. I wish, as far as the mayor is concerned, that I had the stomach to want to exceed in this political hierarchy, and I don't. I actually kind of like who I've become over the years. I actually don't know how to compromise on truth. But we're calling right now, screw we, trust me, the extensions and the connections that I have. Strong candidates will be supported. Let me explain why I'm calling for District 3, because I already said what I'm calling for the mayor. The mayor is not good for the city of South Fulton. I thought, even though I didn't vote for you, Mr. Mayor, I've met with you. We've got mutual colleagues and friends. I thought we could make this work. But see, I'm not in the habit of supporting those and ain't in the habit of supporting me. More accurately put, I'm not in the habit of supporting those that ain't in the habit of truly supporting all the people. I'm not in the habit of backdoor sniggles and giggles. Not that kind of man. District 3 representative. This is the second time. The first time when some of my comrades put on a very well attended 
Save Our Boys Forum, the following city council meeting, you referred to them as outsiders. Yesterday, NAACP, your VP of the state conference, came into this meeting saying his, his outlining his connection to the surrounding area and how the NAACP, the oldest civil rights organization in the land, was looking forward to seeing the urban development project. Well, the NAACP, this council member, called my guest, your VP in Atlanta, opportunist. I don't know who in the hell you think you might be that you are able to sit high and talk down low. Are you out of your mind? Or is it because you're up under the mayor so much that I even wonder at others that if he can even take two breaths at sometimes, Mr. Mayor, that's on your fault. Oh, people say, oh, you might be getting messy. Oh, this ain't messy. What you did to the people of Old National and the surrounding area yesterday was messy. Councilwoman Rao, good points. I'm not so simplistic not to understand that studies have to be done in order to document things, in order to do X, Y, and Z. But I think you fail to realize, ma'am, that my position is you can be pro-study, which you guys have already done, and also be pro-development on O National. When people like myself say you don't need a study to know you need to redevelop O National, that's not to say that you don't have to do the study. 100,000 residents, 90 plus percent black. A study done being the blackest city, the most African-American city in the nation. We've got some unique concerns as it relates to our community. How do four mothers, how do four black mothers vote not to revitalize an area that we know are troubled that just happens to be your largest business corridor? It's all y'all talking about the crime. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? A urban development project, a revitalization project, a project that sucks tax dollars, sucks the traffic flow all from the world's busiest airport would eradicate the crime. You build the structures and every municipality across these yet to be United States of America does one thing. They protect their structures. You do that, then you pour love and programs into the structures. Problem solved. Speaking of that. So y'all got a problem on your hands. Straight up. Councilwoman Gilliard, heartfelt uh, testimony yesterday about you being around during the days of old with all of the businesses that have left Old National. And you stated, ma'am, that you really want to see Old National return back to that status. But you said, now nah, just ain't the time. We don't have time. The same kids, Mayor Pro Tim, that all of you guys, when you uh, 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 gave the proclamation to the 501c3 nonprofit group, I'm a father first, with all of the black boys up on stage, all of the single parent households that that particular organization assist. All of y'all turn around and photo op with these little boys and these administrators of this 501c3. And then you turn around and vote in legislation that you might as well put your boot on their backside and say, nigga, get off this stage. See, y'all don't see it that way. Folks, folks in Old National been screaming for help. The city mayor, who is the former Fulton County Commissioner of that district, has been promising help. Man, if you think somebody getting ready to play around, no, sir, no, ma'am. What was funny? Let me tell you how I knew the fix was on. Because this huge economic project, I'm talking about a real deal, big boy Atlanta Metro project, wasn't treated as such because of the messenger. You didn't have Fulton County Commissioner Emma Darnell, who is of that district of Old National, speaking about this possible economic boom and revitalization on hush mode. 
You didn't have the largest landowner of old national. Pass the dollar, pass the dollar, excuse me, Creflo dollar of old national, whom you guys wanted to dedicate old national highway to until myself and others stopped it. Stopped it. This guy's so mad you get tongue tied. I knew the fix was on when certain people weren't discussing this possible boom called the old national DDA. Hey, we got to get dude out of office, man. I've been known for drawing lines in the sand. Makes no difference to me when it's right, it's right. We got to get other people out of office. Districts one, two, three, four. I don't know what repercussions you guys will see, if any. Districts one and two, we know you have the most affluent districts. So we know that development is coming your way. <laughs> Honestly, Councilwoman Gilliard, you better hope that you along in that package. District three, which is where I reside. Due to the relationship, as far as the closeness with the mayor, we know that development is coming. Listen, every district, for the record, deserves development. I'm not acting like it does not. But you had the chance right in your hands yesterday for not just development like some of these other districts are going to be strictly for their district, but Old National Highway would have fed the city. But y'all didn't want that. Told you before, it behooves any of you, including you, Mayor Edwards, to let me do what I do, use the connections that I have, and try to help a city that raised me. But y'all would rather be enemies. So be it. Now your ass got to get out of office. District 3, the race is coming up soon. We need some of those good people from before to rise up. Time is close. I don't care if it's unsuccessful, unsuccessful about removing you two. I'm going to give you hell while you're there. And then like another friend of mine says is once we reach there, then we just going to fight on the ice because it's going to freeze over. I ain't about that foolishness. I'm about this action. Mr. Mayor, got two years for you. And what you have shown thus far, your inability to be a captain of the ship, all this foolishness that's been running around in council, it points to you, sir. Your inability to call meetings to create or to resolve or to create methods of conflict resolution and resolve conflicts to show the favoritism. You're whispering here and there every time during council. Man, people see you. The decorum, the, de the demeanor, the professionalism, the leadership. And now you want to sit up here and lie to the people that you've been promising stuff to for a decade. Man, are you? <laughs> Listen, man. Uh, we're about to go enjoy these D.C. streets, man. Uh, if you feel the same, if you feel the same way I do, man, drop, 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 drop your feelings down there. If you don't, I welcome it, too. I just encourage you. Please listen to this message thoroughly and then do some more research. It will save you some embarrassment when you start coming and commenting on this post right here. But for the record, the mayor must go. District 3 must go. That's just the bottom line in order to propel this city forward. Some of you feel that others must go. I'm calling out my mayor in my direct City Council representative. I was disappointed to even advocate for this city with what happened yesterday. Never would have thought black mayor, black council, five being mothers, black police chief, black judge, black city manager, black city attorney, black clerk. By the way, do you know that the chief financial advisor to the city also recommended that we do this? For all of you smart folks out there talking about it's not fiscally responsible, the person that this city pays in order to get advice dealing with finances 
they went against it. If you don't see the writing on the wall for this being personal, then something's wrong with you. So city of, South, city of South Fulton, we're going to be all right. But we got some imposters and some procrastinators and some selfish individuals that are in place. More to come on this matter, man. I just want to take a minute to look at y'all, each one of you, and say shame on you. On behalf of the citizens from Old National and the surrounding areas and those of us that have been here for decades, shame on each and every one of you.